In this video, I'm going to rebuild a website that simulates a coin flip. So this is one of the sites. Hit the flip, heads or tails, you get your result. It's going to be pretty simple to build this using Lovable. And the traffic to these types of sites is actually insane. So this is the traffic data for the flip site we just saw. We're talking around one and a half million clicks every month. In terms of ad revenue, we're looking at somewhere around $89,000 in Google ad revenue every single year. Okay, so to prepare for this, the first thing I've done is gone on to Namecheap and purchased a domain. I've gone with headsortails.online and it has cost me the total of about $1.56 for the domain. At the end of the video, we're going to go live and you can check this out. So as I mentioned, there are a few of these sites. This was one of them, and this is another. Now I like the style and the layout of this one, so this is gonna be the basis to clone on. Over in Lovable, I've got this prompt here, clone the following web page that simulates a coin flip. This is the web page here. And I've got some other notes here. The clone site will be called Heads or Tails. For the footer, just keep it basic, because if we look at this footer here, we can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff that's not gonna be relevant for this basic coin flip site and a few other notes just to try to get the focus. I don't know whether we'll get all the way there in, in one hit, but after a couple of iterations, we should be pretty close. So I'm just going to hit go on this and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like the first preview's about to be rendered. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's looking pretty good. You can even see we've got the dotting around the edge of the coin, like I asked it to focus on, but is it functional? So that doesn't look great because there's no animation of the coin flipping and then it disappears after it. So we'll take a look at that and see if we can fix it. All right, we'll come back to fixing this coin flip in a second. But once you've got to this point, there's a few things you want to do. One is sync with GitHub. So if you click on the little icon up the top, it says sync to GitHub. There's just a couple of steps you need to do and that is done. Once you've done that, you can actually import the project into Netlify that's what I've done here. And then I've added that custom domain I mentioned earlier, headsortails.online. And when you set this up in, in Netlify, you get this custom DNS. So I've just taken these records here and I've added, added them into Namecheap so that as we work through the project, basically this is going to be live at the end and it's all good to go because this will propagate probably in the next 10 to 30 minutes. Now I'm going to ask it to fix this animation. So... Nothing much is happening there, so I'll just put a prompt in here to get that done. And also we want to style this hero section a little bit better as well, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so after a little bit of back and forth, finally got there. This was actually the prompt that fixed it. I gave it a couple of sites that have really good coin animations and said we need to follow that and also have some sort of size increase of the coin as well. So I can show you in the in the real time what this looks like now. So flip the coin. That's pretty good. And if you compare this to any other sites that are out there, like this one, or our other one, it's pretty good. So let's go with that. Might make it a little bit bigger, change the styling slightly, but we can move on. Next, what I want to do is change the color of the, the background of the header a little bit and rotate between um, sort of a slightly off-white to a white as we move through the different sections. So if we scroll down a bit, we can see we've got a few of the sections. So how does the heads and tails work? What is a, the, the toss of virtual coin? We've got these sections here, a bit about it. This is really good for SEO. All these keywords are going to get picked up on and it's going to help us rank on Google. This is why this section is included as well, the history of the coin toss. Next, for the color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bit of a hack that I use. So if I open up the, the snipping tool, we'll go over here and we'll take a screenshot. So if I take a screenshot of this, what I can do is paste it into Lovable and just ask it to alternate the colors between what it's seeing here. It's very subtle, but you can see we're alternating between two colors now. I'll probably make this a little bit darker, but for the sake of time and moving on, I will go on to the next bit now. But you can see it does, it is alternating. 
So I want to make the coin a little bit bitter, bit bigger and you can see the the dotted edging has been removed in all these iterations which we saw here. So I want to get that back. Okay, so I've just made a bunch of changes here. I've made the background slightly darker again and I've got the edging back on the coin. You can see it's got this darker edge around it. So it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more styled. We're sort of done. Now, if I take you over to Netlify, the way this works in Lovable, once you've connected to GitHub, every time you make a change, those changes go to GitHub and they push out directly over into Netlify. And so if you look up here, I actually added this domain while recording the video, literally 20 minutes ago or, or less, and it has propagated those custom DNS have, have made their way through and it's actually live. So everything I've done just then, we can take a look at it. And if you head to this URL, you can have, have a look at it as well. So this is our site. I can flip the coin. It's got the sound. It's looking pretty good. It keeps a count. If I scroll down a little bit, I've got all those sections. Nice layout, really simple. So the next step is I'm gonna go back over into Lovable. I'm just gonna make sure we have got a favor con and also we want to have a meta title meta description and so we can register the the domain into google search console and has all the bits and pieces we need to start getting traffic so back in lovable i'm just asking to create a favor con add an seo meta title add a meta seo description this is only one page, so we don't have the other problem that you can sometimes have when you're building a Lovable, your other pages don't get indexed. That's a totally separate issue, but it is a real issue. For this one, no problems, because it's just the one. This will be indexed within 48 hours. Now, while it's doing that, I did build another site that used a similar kind of philosophy, finding a site that generates a lot of traffic and replicating it. That site was Hacker Typer. So what I'm showing you today is sort of loosely based around that this site is indexed it's getting organic traffic and the traffic is growing every single week you can see down the bottom here we're already at 635 clicks since i published it and for some reason it's getting a lot of traffic particularly in the us so back over here in lovable that has been done now this will auto publish out to to the web through netlify so that is pretty much it so if you want to take a look at this site, it's online now, heads or tails dot online. I might make a few minor tweaks here and there, but you've pretty much seen the entire process from start to finish. Nothing's really been cut out. I don't think it's been sped up. Now, if you would like to learn more about AI coding, AI automation, and how to rank on Google with all these new tools, make sure you check out Online Ninja. It'll be the first link in the description. I hope you got a bit of value from this video. If you did, consider giving it a like. Drop a comment and I look forward to catching you in the next one.